हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज़ हार्दिक पटेल एंड आई क्रिएट वीडियोस बेस्ड ऑन माय नॉलेज अराउंड पाइथन जेंगो एंड रिलेटेड टेक्नोलॉजीज सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट एडेप्टर डिज़ाइन पैटर्न सो व्हाट इज एडेप्टर डिज़ाइन पैटर्न सो इट्स अ स्ट्रक्चरल डिज़ाइन पैटर्न एंड एज नेम सजेस्ट दिस मैथड हेल्प्स टू एडेप्ट डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ क्लासेज फंक्शन मैथड्स वॉट एवर इट इज राइट सो इट ट्राइज टू एडेप्ट डिफरेंट थिंग्स so example uh, i will say that is usb hub as my surface laptop supports only one usb type a port and i want to connect my mobile which requires type c connectivity and another device like keyboard or mouse requires usb type a support so i need one adapter like call it usb hub which connects to my laptop uh, to that a port and it gives me support of connecting multiple devices So which i have right and this is exactly the kind of adapter design pattern so before going to see the benefits and drawbacks i would like to show implementation of basic example uh, of writing data to different types of storage or stream so let me show you the code uh, i am not going to write code this time because it takes little bit time and it doesn't help anyways so that's why i have already pre-written the code and i will show and i will explain line by line okay so as you can see here uh, we are trying to support two types of writer one is console writer and another is file writer so this is one writer which has pprint method which prints the data whatever text we are passing as an input second writer class which writes the data i mean whatever text we are giving as an input it tries to write that input text in whatever file name we are giving if we do not give the file name it will take automatically output.txt as a default name so as you can see it is opening that file and it writes uh, the text into that file now the main uh, main thing is main class is that is write adapter which is actually tries to connect different types of writer okay so what we we'll, what that does that when you initiate this writer uh, write adapter it actually takes the input as a writer object so whatever uh, write writer object you want to use you can pass that writer in object into this writer adapter class okay it's a write or okay sorry it's all right so as you can see there is another write method is there which is common method uh, so from anywhere when you want to try something uh, or try to write something you will instance you will create the instance of writer adapter and then you will call the writer write method okay and the arguments you will pass according to the writer object okay so as you can see this is the boilerplate you know that is uh, what is that it is always used for executing the module as a script right and i have created two instances of two different writer classes one is console writer and the second is file writer so i have created two instances of writer adapter class passing two different writer objects one is for writing to the console and the second is for writing to the file okay and both the instances i have used just to check how it works so i have called the write method but the arguments are different according to the requirement of that particular writer object so in console you are just passing the text but in the second uh, second uh, write method where we are passing the text as well as the file name if i do not pass that's fine because output.txt is the default name okay now what we are doing in this write method so whenever this write method is called we will check the write instance uh, i mean self dot writers type so is it an instance of console writer if that is the console writer then you will call the pprint method if it is the instance of file writer then you will call the write method because you know that this is you are writing the code now let me run this code and we will see how it works so before writing i would like to show that output.txt file is an empty file so if it is not uh, the, uh, if file doesn't exist then it will automatically create when you are opening that file in a right mode right so now let's run this file and see what happens so as you can see uh, this writing to console uh, text is printed here because this print method actually does the print here right and uh, second method 
tries to write this text into output.txt file let's see if it is yeah as you can see this text is already there in output.txt so basically this is how it works and while explaining this uh, i mean benefits of this pattern you will see one more thing that is let me show that benefits instead okay so one of the benefit is reusability of existing or third party code without modifying it okay so what does that mean i mean of course there is a console writer right and this is third party code suppose which you are not writing and it it has pprint method so what you will do you will just check the instance of console writer then you will call the pprint method okay so here you just need to change which is our code but the third party code which you which you might not need to change right so this is the one of the benefit where you can just add the extra class to adapt a new thing so while doing thing uh, doing this thing we also follows open closed principle and the single responsibility principle as i said in the previous video that this kind of principles uh, are part of the solid principles so which i am going to cover into the next video so please stay tuned to get this video okay and what does that mean that means you can add new type of adapter without breaking your existing code separate and separate the interface code from your main business logic okay so what are the drawbacks then so drawbacks is i mean it can increase the complexity of your code by introducing new classes and interfaces so it always i mean in any kind of any pattern you will use the complexity will become uh, more and more because code always grows by introducing new functionalities new features whatever it is right and using this uh, pattern you may get the impact on the efficiency of your code by adding an extra layer of abstraction as we as we have seen that right because we are just checking what kind of instance is that we are actually adding an extra, another layer of abstract, abstraction that's the reason it can decrease the efficiency of that code so basically you have to keep in mind this benefits and drawbacks while writing the code using this kind of patterns okay so that's pretty much from this video uh, if you have liked the video please hit the like button and share with your it friends and also please subscribe the channel and hit the bell icon to get the notification for my new upcoming videos thank you and see you soon in the next video